What we do at uh, Valverde Custom Homes is that every single home that we build is actually a true custom home. Uh, we don't duplicate plans or we don't have per se uh, stock plans that you can go out and view. Um, we get a, a home, we get a lot and uh, we actually develop the plan according to that, to that lot and we take advantage of every single point on that lot whether you've got some great views um, or if you have any uh, issues as far as the topography we go ahead and design that according to that to that specific lot when you when you get a custom home built uh, you get a lot of the you have a lot of choices uh, such as the flooring that you're going to do the colors and all that stuff and we leave that up to each individual buyer on whatever they want uh, our main concentration is going to make sure that this home is actually going to last for a very long time and that it's going to be very energy efficient. Um, all of the other components such as your cabinets and your wall paints, your countertops, all that stuff is up to whatever each customer wants and how they live and how they uh, want, want to enjoy their home. One of the things that we do that's uh, different from other builders is that all of our plans are going to be uh, designed to be able to have indoor and outdoor living areas. Uh, we live in a great area where we can actually enjoy the outdoors most of the year. So uh, such as this plan, we've got a very large open uh, covered patio area that incorporates into the kitchen and to the living area. Uh, it's made for somebody that would love to uh, entertain and actually have, be able to have people over and feel comfortable in it as well. One of the things that we do different is, you know, we, we pay attention to all the details on this home. Uh, what we're looking at here is a uh, tongue and groove cedar. Uh, normally on a home, uh, you would have uh, the four by eight sheets of hardy. Uh, but these are the little things that don't cost that much, but make a big difference on the way a home looks. Other things that you can see out here are the, the soffits uh, under the roof. You know, we've got a lot of detail on there. Uh, these are little things that are, are, are overlooked by most builders, but uh, these can make a big difference on the way a home presents itself. The benefit of having a home engineered is that you, uh, you actually get cost savings from it. You would think that you would actually pay more for a home when it's engineered, but that's not necessarily the case. Uh, because when you get a home engineered, you actually take each component and you build it according to how it's specified by the engineer. A uh, traditional builder might uh, make an assumption and, and use bigger pieces of lumber, uh, overdo it just because in the back of their mind they want to make sure that the home is going to be structurally stable. So the benefit is that we actually use the right size members uh, to make sure that our homes are structurally sound. What we're looking at here is a 42 inch fireplace. Uh, what we've done here is we've uh, done a larger fireplace to be proportional with the home and we've also raised it uh, so that way we have an actual area where you can actually sit down and enjoy the fire in the winter uh, instead of having a, a small little fireplace that doesn't really do any justice to the, to the home. Uh, one of the things that we like to do is uh, have really high ceilings so that way uh, it actually makes a room feel a lot bigger when you have the high ceilings. You can also see that we're going to have a box ceiling with uh, two different levels. Uh, those are small little details that make a big difference in the way a home presents itself. Having these, uh, <clears throat> these large rooms that are really tall, uh, we do proportional doors. Uh, if you're looking at here, we've got an eight foot door a traditional door would be six foot eight, <clears throat> so it gives you a lot more room. It's proportional with the room. It makes a home feel a lot uh, bigger. Uh, one of the things that we focus on are things that you're not able to see, uh, such as your insulation that's behind the walls, um, and also your 
HVAC systems, your water heaters, those are things that you can't actually see when you walk into a house. Uh, any home looks uh, can look really good, but you really don't know what's behind those walls. Those are the components that we concentrate on. In this specific area here would be an area where uh, a traditional home would have the bat insulations, which means that they're going to be covering these areas where these pipes are at, but you're not going to be able to get into these gaps. Uh, when you use spray foam, it actually covers, goes in behind the pipes and it completely seals up the area, which means that you're not going to have any transfer of heat coming in and out of the house. And that's what's going to make uh, a home different, a lot more energy efficient. What we've done is uh, we went ahead and snuck into our, one of our competitors' homes so we could see what the difference is between the bat insulation and the spray foam insulation. And this is Russell Carroll, and he'll talk a little bit more about the benefits of using spray foam insulation. On conventional insulation, insulation and R value comes from the fluff factor. And when you have a, an R13 to an R15 bat that gives you a cold joint next to your 2x4s, there's air infiltration everywhere there's a gap. And everywhere there's an electrical box, there's nothing behind it. So those are uh, areas that air will escape and heat and cold will come in. And if you look in areas like this where you have plumbing, they will just shove the insulation around and you will have no insulation or R value like you do here. These are cold joints. And when you come in with foam, foam finds the least resistance. It's coming out at 135 degrees. It goes onto the wall, flashes out at 165 degrees, and blows out onto the wall and is literally melted to the stud. So as you start to get any kind of heat transfer through the wood itself, it actually absorbs a percentage of that heat transfer. Some of the other benefits of using the, the spray foam is that we actually spray the foam up onto the, the roof decking. Uh, so if you look at the roof decking, these, uh, the insulation is actually attached to the decking and you have all these air ducts that are flowing inside of a conditioned area, meaning that when it gets really, really hot, these pipes, the air in the pipes is actually running through a conditioned space versus a traditional home, which would have the pipes running through a very hot attic that can get really, really hot in the hot summers that, we're ha that we have here in Austin. So that is a big benefit of having uh, the, the ducts running through a conditioned space. And once again, it makes your home a very energy efficient home. Talking about things that are within the walls is uh, we have the water lines such as the ones that we have here. These are PEX water lines. Um, the benefit of having these lines is that if during construction or over time uh, this line was to get uh, punctured, uh, a traditional line uh, being of copper uh, might have a nail that goes through it and it barely taps it and it will actually seal up and it won't be exposed until several years down the road. Uh, anything that penetrates this line uh, will automatically show during construction. So that way we can actually resolve the problem uh, before it becomes a problem down the road when you're actually living in the home. <clears throat> if, you, if you can see up here, all of our water lines are actually being run inside of a conditioned environment. Meaning that when it gets really cold, uh, there's going to be a chance that some of these lines might rupture if it gets extremely cold, uh, which, <clears throat> which it does out here in Texas. Uh, so the, the benefit is that these lines are actually going to be protected from the environment. We also do uh, put in a focus on our HVAC systems. We use high uh, SEER HVAC systems, HVAC systems, which would mean that uh, your home is actually going to be very efficient when it comes down to heating and cooling it. 
Uh, some other components that are involved with that are your, your windows and your, your water heaters as well. Uh, contribute a lot to the energy efficiency of the home. Uh, the benefit of having a tankless water heater is that we only use hot water when we're actually using it. Uh, we don't waste uh, water uh, when we're away at work or on vacation, uh, only as it's being used and we actually have a non-stop supply of hot water. So if you take uh, long showers and you want that supply and it's being used in other areas such as in your kitchen and somebody's taking a shower, you're going to have that constant hot water. One of the things that we do uh, for the energy efficiency of home is that we go ahead and uh, put uh, return airs in every room. What this allows us to do is to have a, uh, a room that actually ventilates. A uh, traditional home would just have the air supplies that go into the room, but uh, the air actually gets stuck and creates a lot of pressure into the room. Um, having uh, these return airs allows the home to feel a lot more comfortable. Part of the energy efficiency of the home uh, that we do as a standard is the windows. Um, we use energy efficient Energy Star windows uh, that are double pane, which means that they actually keep the house uh, cooler in the summers and in the winter it actually keeps them warmer because it doesn't let any of the heat uh, transfer through the panes.